Howdy here and welcome to Nebs Gaming! We're starting off this episode in the mines! Why are we starting off this episode in the mines and have a lowly zombie heading towards us? Well, we needed some diamondos because we are moving on to the reactor. In order to make the reactor... Hello zombie, uh, I'm trying to do my intro here and it's disturbing me. Okay, let me just say hello to this zombie a minute. Hi zombie! As I was saying... Why am I going to need diamondos? It's because if we check out the mechanism mod once again, we are going to be moving on to the reactor. Where are we? There is the reactor. All this type of stuff. And the reactor requires atomic alloys, and the only way to make atomic alloys is by infusing them with refined obsidian and with a reinforced alloy. And in order to do that, we need compressed diamond ores to make the reinforced alloy. Hence, why we need a lot of diamonds. So, look at this. I have gone and collected myself just under three stacks of diamonds for us to compress and make and enrich and do all that good stuff. Also, I do need to repair my armor because during the mining session, I has taken a right good old beating. Woo, well, that was a lot. Make sure you like and subscribe if you're still with us. Yay, XP. So, first things I need to do is actually repair all my armor to its maximum glory. we still got enough emeralds from trading earlier on, just with these guys. Just trading them with these guys. Fabulous. I'm getting out of here because it's quite noisy. Uh, so, as I was saying, the basic start for the diamond alloy or, or advanced alloy, whatever you want to call it, is these. So, I've got this pumping away now. Uh, as you can say, it's taking up a lot, even with eight times the energy and eight times the speed, hence why it's using a lot of energy. If we go over to here, this only has a energy upgrade of six, so it doesn't require... Oh, threw me bad. So it doesn't use as much energy. So if I take two of them out, we should see the energy now start increasing. So again, the speed is just a tiny bit slower, but it doesn't really affect it as much. So we're going to keep that now. We'll keep the speed at six, because that balances the energy and the uh, what's the word I'm looking for? The energy and yeah, the energy and the speed is sufficient enough so we don't utilize all the energy and absolutely rinse through the power there. Uh, hopefully, we've still got enough redstone going in. That's a future me problem. That will maybe an issue. Uh, let's pop next door actually and grab some. Unless I've got any in here. Yes, I do. Oh, that's scary. Uh, let's make some magic. There we go. Uh, you all on top there. Oh no, we're still getting pulled. Um, why aren't you pulling that way? There we go. So we're getting a, we're getting a pretty much of a decent split there through the redstone. But that is a sublime. Look at that. And we've even got some storage coming into the bottom there for extras later on. But we really want to enrich our diamondos. So I'm going to start off with just a stack in these four because we made them from dust. So they turn into... Oh, no, that's not the button I want. They turn into industrial diamond. So if we head over to this machine and we'll whack them in there and wait for them to enrich. And then we'll move on to making the lovely, lovely little alloys. Again, it'll be the same process as this. It'll just be compressed. We now have our compressed alloys in there. No, sorry, our compressed diamonds in the machine for the metallurgic infuser to infuse it into diamonds. We also have our refined obsidian kicking away. And see what I mean? Why we compress the diamonds? Because we get a lot more bang for our buck, shall I say. You get 80 compared to the single that you would. Now, we should see either that refined obsidian staying. Yep. Let's configure this now so we can actually see movement that's going to go down and hopefully it should go into here yep there we go that's going to start filling up i can actually stop it if i wanted to as well and refine it again in here in fact i might do that now and in fact so if we can we yes so again we're going to refine this him to compress so we've got more again keeping bang for a buck so we're not wasting resources okay i've got a lot of steel and as you can see the st uh, the reactor stuff is made out of these frames here so i'm going to produce a lot of steel frames 
I'm going to build all the reactor ingredients there and then build the reactor. And there we have it. Below us is our fission reactor. Now, it's not nuclear. No, this thing's going to get powered by a giant laser beam. That's right. We've got to create a giant laser for this, which is going to include a lot of materials. Now, I was looking at other reactors as well for this, so we might turn to that for power. Extreme reactor series. But let's have a cheeky little look how we actually need to power this by just typing in laser. We're going to need this thing here, the laser tractor beam, in order for the laser to flow through it. Uh, to power it, we're going to need these here, the lasers, which is, again, using diamonds, uh, energy tablets, which, again, is easy to make. Uh, we're also going to probably need to, uh, in the future, make the laser assembly, uh, but that's a future issue in creating that. But uh, this is thing is going to need a lot of power. We also need to fuel the reactor up. Now, you know I said that we require, well, we didn't require lithium anymore. Well, we will for this experience because we are going to need to make the fuel for the reactor, which is DT fuel. And how do we make that? Well, it's a mixture of two things. One is a resource using the solar neutron, uh, solar nutrient activator, which will produce tritium. Basically, the lithium goes into here and it produces tritium. So we will have a pipe running from the lithium which means we can use this or we'll just make a two more of these haven't quite decided yet i'll probably make two more of these just to make it all in a central located area and then we can have this primarily utilized for our quadrupling ores we will also require something called heavy water which is if we look at here it is this heavy water heavy water is created by using a filter on an actual pump and that's how we're going to get it but is used to make something else we will also require this deuterium now the reason we need deuterium is because it's going to mix with the tritium that we utilize from uh, the solar neutron uh, things uh, they combine together to make dt which will be the fuel for our reactor but the initial starter of the actual process we will require this the whole ram so what we need to do is input some of that dt fuel gas that produced by mixing i can't even say this word of it the fuel and the triterium and we'll put it in this and then what we'll do is we'll whack this into the top of the reactor and then that will in turn start the process of turning it into fuel and then that'll get shot with the laser beam once the laser beam is powered the reactor will have then a lot a lot of fuel and i have decided i'm going to make a completely separate condenser for this a thermal evaporation sorry for this so uh i'll be back once i've built a lot of it because it's gonna co cost a lot of resources to build this so uh wish me luck see you in the next scene well that's the lithium production starting and heading on its way we haven't even got any heat in this and it's already producing a nice little bit of liquid lithium for us and hopefully it'll be um when we go offline or disconnect that this will slowly fill up now we just need to make the tritium and the deuterium to make dt fuel with a quick turn i have created or swapped out this monstrosity right here it is an absolute mess of cables and pipes and all sorts of things and i don't even know if it's going to work properly but we're going to find that one out right now basically i need to make these things where are they then i need to make these hdpe pellets in order to make them we need a substrate in order to make the substrate we need to turn them into biofuel uh so uh let's get some biofuel and see if this works if we enter in here as you can see our biofuel is pumping away just nicely and we've got plenty of dyes now for use for later on and we've got a lot of chests filled with biofuel in fact i think we are nearly overflowing with biofuel i might have to add some extra chests on let's put the biofuel in here and then pull yeah it does pull so we should start seeing this come into where are they they should start coming along this pipe shortly there they are coming along one at a time and they should enter here and start turning into substrate i hope go in we go in we go there we have it i'll listen to that and in substrate that substrate then goes into here oh so this bit is working i just need the ethylene piece why are you not producing any so a byproduct of this should have been the actual ethylene so if we go back onto the hp pellet if you look at this well no not that 
substrate? Should it be ethylene? So why isn't it producing any? Hmm. Unless it's not picking it up yet. Okay, so I'll work that out. So it was get the the reason there was no ethylene in there is because it was getting caught in this pipe here. So I've now moved that to go into here using it input hopefully this should start pulling it now because we've got some oxygen and then in theory the oxygen should mix with the ethylene maybe or have i got to do that separate it looks like i'm gonna have to do this separately which is an easy fix i can just change a few items around and voila we figured it out we figured it out all we had to do was put one of these rotary condensators in in order to turn it to liquid ethylene that liquid ethylene then gets pumped into here, into the PRC with the oxygen that we've got going from here. So we've got oxygen coming out into the end PRC machine, and then we've got the hydrogen coming into the first PRE machine. That will then turn this into substrate. The substrate with them will have an excess of ethylene. That ethylene will turn into liquid ethylene that will get pumped into here, using with that oxygen or to create HDB pellets. And then we will be able to make these, the HDPP. E sheet in order to make the neutron activator and oh my god look at what we've got to do with the reinforced ally there uh, I'm gonna make up a few of these as well fan dabby dozy moving on and there is the triethylium being created tritium sorry I keep calling it triethylium I don't know why but that is now created there and as you can see we had to rotary condense the lithium into a gas in order for the solar neutron activator to well do its solar neutron activated stuff this will only work in the day remember because it is obviously powered by the sun and this turns it into a tritium and it will go to here next on the agenda i intend to make the deuterium or whatever it's called i'm going to make that here and i'm going to feed that round into the next machine and here we have it the deuterium is actually producing now we're getting quite a lot to be fair with an excess of oxygen which we can just dump that oxygen because it's not required we could probably input it into a uh, i fell down a hole but we could probably input that into one of our other bills maybe feed it all the way over there but i'm not going to do that not t today anyway uh, if you have a look in here, we see we've got some tritrium getting pumped through. So even we now, even though we haven't got a lot of our, well, a lot of temperature in here, we're still producing enough to have this almost filled from these three here. And I, I can upgrade these with their speed to make it a little bit faster. But I don't need to at this minute in time. And I can, uh, same in here, I'm going to fill all these with energy. So energy upgrades, so I don't need to worry about energy in the future for this hence why i've got a load on me so let's connect this up now using a pressurized for gas have we got any on us there it is uh, we're going to run this just along here like wait a minute that's my power cable that's not the one we want let's remove that and let's get the pressurized one back there we go and let's run that all the way along here i'm keeping it above ground at this moment in time because I want to be able to see everything happening so let's have a cheeky little look in here now well no we've got the oxygen going in that is not what we wanted we've got oxygen going in right let's remove that well i figured out what was wrong it was the fact that i had all the piping all wrong and now we're producing dt fuel that's right look at it look at it pumping away and we've got plenty of deuterium and triterium tri tritium to uh start the process anyway but we'll have to build a laser next. If we have a look here, I had to have the water coming in through the middle. And because of the way these electric separators work, I need the, the output on this side in order to empty it. And look at the flow. It's going in there. Same as the um, tritium. We've got it going in. Lithium's pumping away there. Fantastic. Now we've got the fuel. We can hook this up into the input and then go from there. Before we do move on to the laser, though, what I needed to do was use one of these hollerum ones. I don't know how you pronounce it, but basically we need to fill up one of these because this is going to be the starter of the actual fusing. So I'm going to, in fact, no, I'm not going to transform into anything. I'm going to climb up for a change. I'm going to go old school. And this needs to go in the top of here. What it happens is we will shoot the laser into here and this will start the, well, start the engines almost. Uh, but first we've got to build that laser. Oh, and to uh, actually make one of them, it is uh, simple as this. You just 
infuse it with a bit of carbon and it produces one. So what we've actually done here is we've actually used a crafting formula. Basically you put what you want to craft in here, put one of them and press encode formula and it auto crafts it for you with auto mode on and it pulls everything from here. You put, I've put a little pipe this side in order to feed what I need to go in there and the output is here. As you can see I've produced a load of tablets. There should be two boxes full. Why do we need a load of tablets? Well, if we look at the actual laser, which is this thing here, you can see that it's going to need tablets. And then we move on to the laser amplifier. That again is going to need tablets for the basic energy cube. So now we have all the required tools. We've got the laser amplifiers and we've got the lasers. Oh, looks like I'm not going to have enough room for them to carry on me. Uh, let's put the amplifier Right, now let's put the lasers in there for now. Uh, let's get rid of this lithium. We don't need the arrows, don't need the lithium, don't need the bones. Uh, da -da -da -da. Let's get all these lasers out. Uh, put you in there for now. Break you. There we go. Right, let's go build this thing. I'm so glad I put this back door in as well because it's now... Ooh. Easy for me to actually fly away. As you can see as well, if we go up to fly all the way up to the top here, it is a long way up, I admit. But I've had to put this platform up here, which has got a load of windmills on. This is producing enough power for my digital miner now. As you can see here, there is a lot. There is, how many is in a row in fact? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So there's 10 in a row there, so that's 30, 33 currently, and that's given enough power to the digital miner. <coughs> I am a bat, by the way, hence why I am floating about here. But I decided to build this up, up there, because it wa I wasn't getting enough power to my digital miner, because we hadn't uh, built this yet. Let's uh, fly all the way down here as now, as you can see here, we are getting 51 KRF input as well from there. So we've got enough on there as well. So let's get building this digital miner. Min miner? Laser. Now the way I'm going to do this is make sure the laser is going to be pointing into this focus matrix here. If we have a look at the reactor frame, we can see we've got a reactor port there. We've got where the... Where is it? The DT fuel's going in. If we swing around this side, we've got an output here. In fact, we need to configure that as an output. Otherwise, there we go. Eject mode. Otherwise, we wouldn't get anything. Uh, that's going to get hooked up into the boiler there so we can have steam pumping into the valves. Next, we want to build the laser, which is going in the focus matrix. Remember, guys, make sure you have it top there, the whole ROM with the DT fuel in there. Let's build this. So we want one, two. This is where it's going to be going from. We're going to need power for this thing. So I'm going to use advanced universal cables. I'm going to drag that all the way over to our system here. Oh, no. Oh, yeah, that's in the grass. Which is fine, so we're going to drag it all the way across to where the laser is actually going to be. Hey, I picked up some berries. Uh, yeah, that's plenty. I'm afraid you've got to go, berries. Bye-bye. Let's go up to this level it needs to be on. Uh, I think it's one more, so what level are we on now? We are on that one there, so it needs to go up one more. And then we need to come across. One, two, three, four. Four, five, six, seven, eight. So we need two this side. One, two. I suggest if you get a mod, a uh, mob that can actually do this. By the way, uh, fly about because it makes life so much easier. <laughs> okay, there's the frame of the actual. Well, it's going to be powering the lasers. So now we just need to actually get these lasers installed. If we do it from the front here, one. Oh no, that is not right there. Do these lasers. Yep, 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 yep. Those lasers actually hurt. Maybe I should not power these lasers <laughs> for now, because I'm sure they'll in a straight line. They will literally just take out anyone, and they do reach a fair distance. If you have a look here, look at that distance it actually makes. So. 
if you ever want to do some mining, I'll probably uh, use some of these lasers because they are quite powerful. All right, let's uh, fill out these. Should be ten, two, three. Oh. And there is the lasers attached to it right there. Now all we need to do is go back into our storage and pull out all these laser amplifiers. Now the important thing to make sure is when you're doing this laser amplifier on the reactor is make sure it's pointing the right way otherwise you'll be shooting a laser out there that way. So the best thing to do to make sure of this is make sure you are facing back to front away from the reactor and it'll face the right way. There we go. There we go. See, you see how I did that wrong there? So that would be just shooting into itself. So always make sure the red side is facing the reactor. Remember, red for reactor. Well, that, they're all now in place. It is a big old beast and it does take a lot of resources, but we have we are getting there for the sufficient power that we require. Now all we need to do is hook it up. There we go. Oh, no, 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 no. I need to. I need to. There we go. Sorry. Important thing to make sure. Ah, oh, please tell me this hasn't just started it. No. Ow! To fly away, get those skeletons despawned. I did forget to mention on this, and I'll just take a seat there because I am needing some food. I'm going to eat a bacon cheeseburger. Bacon cheeseburger. Make sure you've got a lever on the front here. The reason being is because this needs to get enough power for it to actually set the set off. So I wonder now if I connect this in. So we know it works, so we'll click that. Why aren't we going? Why isn't this working? There we go. So we need to turn this off because there's not enough power at the minute. So we'll switch it off. Ah, yes, I forgot to put the uh, redstone piece onto it. So uh, there we go. We can switch that on and off now. Oh, I seem to have twisted it the wrong way. There we go. <laughs> uh, now we should see this thing powering all the way up, should we? Yes, there we go. So this thing's going to need to get powered and then so on and so forth. And then that way, as you can see, the, the flow is flowing down to this main one. Make sure this gets to about halfway before we set it off. That will be able to set the reactor off. But all we've got to do now is let that charge up and then hook up our reactor. Oh, God, these mobs really want me. All right, it is laser time. It is full of energy. The energy is stored. I've also got three pipes now and a couple more externals. We've got the FE which generator, which plugs straight into the main power grid system over here and then we've got a basic mechanical for the steam which plugs all the way over here into this one in fact let's change you yeah yep yeah. and then we've got a thermodynamic which plugs straight into the boiler so that should produce even more steam oh i don't know if this is going to work but let's try this everything set up we've got Again, water coolant going in from all these pumps here. Each have got full upgrades. Okay, okay, right, I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm ready. Let's turn this laser on. Okay, turn it off again. As it works, let's check. Yes, we've got some fusion power. Look at that, here it goes. Oh, wow, wow, everything's happening now. Everything's happening. What have we got here? Our thermodynamic is going in and we should see this heating. Oh, wow, that took up all the water and there's not enough in there to do that. Oh, Lord. Right, let's check up top. Let's check up that. How much water we got going in? Yeah, we've got plenty of water going in there. Okay. Let's check the heat. Oh, wow, that is a lot of heat. Is that energy? That looks like energy to me. Statistics, right, we've got ignition temp. Yeah, that's all fine. Look at that. Steam being produced. Are we not producing any steam? Oh, there we go. As you can see, it's cooling down now. It's cooling down. Oh, and we've run out of fuel already. Look at that. We've run out of fuel already. So our input of this is just not enough to handle it. Empty empty there's just not enough fuel going in by the looks of it but we are producing a hell of a lot of energy now look mr 400 mrf now this should be going straight into the system here let's turn this off because that is no longer needed for there oh no but it is needed for here 
Um, there we go. That should be powering all our systems now. Yeah, you run under, but you're not the input. Um, I may need to run you to the input, which is... No, that's the output, which is here. So, where do you... Oh, in fact, you are going into the input, and you are not charging. Wait, what? What is going on? What is going on? Statistics here. So, receiving that. So, are you not producing enough? Hmm. What is happening? So, it's producing a lot, but somewhere it's getting used. And I don't know where it would be getting used from. Because I've disconnected it from here. Is it possibly all this lot? Can we, like... How much many buckets are you getting now? Oh, look at that storage. You're actually storing energy now, which is not what we wanted. So the steam buckets has just dramatically increased. The turbines are now turning. This is all going to plan. Look at that. But there's no steam going into you. Why are you, is there no steam? Oh, he, there must be, but you can't see any. But there is steam going into you. Are you getting filled back up with water? No, but the boil rate is going crazy. You should be getting pumped full of water. Yeah, so it's literally just cycling through. It is cycling through thanks to the heat from here. So not only have we got energy going out. We have got steam getting produced through here. Fantabby dozy, but why are you not charging? Hmm. Where do you go? You go to the mine and you go that way. Huh. Where do you go? Well, we did what we wanted to do this session. And that was... Ah, I'm glitched out. Uh, uh, yeah, but we did what we wanted to do this session. We wanted to turn on the fusion reactor. We got the fusion reactor fusing, as you can see here. And it's still going. It's still going. We are producing a lot. There's no fuel going in there now because we've... Uh, I need to re-inject it. But as you can see, it is slowly, slowly cooling down. We've still got energy in here that I need to figure out how to get out. Oh no, it is going out. It is going out. Storing, so it is sending it somewhere. I might just have to do a straight connection from here all the way into that battery and then we'll see where we go from there. But fantastic, we've got our turbines turning. All that steam is collected up there now. Fantastic, and the heat is absolutely, it is working, it is working. Is working how we wanted it to. But I'm going to end the episode there. Oh, wow, that's got bigger. Is it meant to be that big? Well, anyway, I'm going to end the episode there. I've been Nose Gaming. You've been amazing. Toodaloo. And I'll see all you wonderful people in a few. Goodbye.